everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hey my name's Amy and this is Welly and welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, good boy. And today we're doing a puppy update which is well overdue. So many of you want to see it so I thought I would actually do one today and I've even dragged Welly into the video, haven't I? You good boy. So yeah, well, he is now eight months old and you can see he looks very different from when he was a puppy. And so many of you wanted this video, so I thought today I would finally get round to filming it. You can see now that the white on his face is gone, hasn't it? It's gone. He's not normally this chill. It's because I've got some of his treats there, isn't it? You done for the filming? Bye everyone. Say bye. Bye everyone, please subscribe to Mum's channel and I hope you love hearing about me. Good boy, go on then. Good boy! Up. Oh, you jumped on Mummy's lap. You do like Mummy. Oh Christ. Don't you? You like sitting with Mummy, don't you? Right, should we start talking about you? Should we start talking about you? Oh, look at him just sat there. You like giving kisses, don't you? If I give you a kiss, you give me one, ready? Okay, so yeah, Welly's gone now. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Amy. That's my little dog, Wellington. And yeah, please like, subscribe, do your thing. Whatever you feel like doing, just do it. So, a well overdue puppy update. Welly is now for, no he's not, eight months old. He was born on the 4th of January probably would have seen him in like collecting my cockapoo puppy did a puppy like haul of what I bought for him and then he's been in a lot of vlogs and I always get people asking do a puppy update so I am going to do a puppy update for you all I put it off and put it off because I didn't know what to talk about but I've watched a few and I've got a couple of things that I want to talk about a few bits of advice you know what I mean so first of all Obviously, we've had him since the first day of March. So how many months is that? March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months we've had him, actually. And let me tell you, to begin with, it was hard, hard work. Honestly, at a few points, I thought, have I made the wrong decision? And I would never think that now. I literally love him so, so much. Um, he's literally my world. I worry about him so much. I love him so much, so I'd never think that now. But at the time, if you watched Bringing Home My Cockapoo Puppy, at the end of that video, I think it was like a week later, I put a little clip in and I was literally having a mental breakdown. It was really hard. And your feelings, it's weird. I think I actually Googled something about like puppy blues and it's a thing. So I don't know if I like had those, I don't know. Cause I was so excited to get him and it was all a bit overwhelming. But anyway, so yeah, he was hard work at the beginning. He didn't cry at night when we put him in his crate. So he does still sleep in his crate and he did from the first night. He never cried. He would wake up early and cry to come out, probably because he needed the toilet. Only I'd say in the last two months, he stopped going to the toilet in his crate. Um, so many people said to me he wouldn't go to the toilet in his crate, but he did. He did have quite a big crate, but I had a, um, a crate divider. And even when I made the crate really small, he still went to the toilet in his crate. So in the end, we would just put like a puppy pad one side and his bed the other side or a vet bed because nothing would stop him from going to the toilet in his crate. So it was kind of worse to make him do it in his bed. So we did put puppy pad the other side and the, in the last couple of months, he stopped that. So he doesn't go to the toilet at all in his crate anymore, which is so nice to let him out in the morning and he doesn't wee, there's no wee or poo to clean up, love it. But that's pretty spot on now. I'd say he wakes up about seven, half seven, but we get up then anyway. So like Leighton will get up in the morning on a Monday to Friday and walks him about seven, quarter past seven. On the weekends we walk him together, but it's um, the, pretty much the same time. So if he's not out by about half seven, he will start crying but it's just the routine we're in. And he does go into his crate between about 10 and 11 o'clock at night. So he is in there for a while and he's not bad at all. That's kind of like the crate routine. Toilet training in the house. I don't remember it being that bad. He did have accidents. More wee 
more wee in than pooing. He didn't really like poo in the house, but he did have a few accidents with like wee. He like weed on our bed once on this on the duvet. I nearly had a mental breakdown. He's not been to the toilet in the house for the longest time now, which is so nice. He um we might have a few issues going into winter because we just leave the back door open all the time. We've tried to stop now because obviously he needs to know when like how to let us know he needs to go out. So we have kind of stop doing that so maybe there'll be some accidents like moving close to the winter i'm not sure in regards to his training we didn't do puppy training classes because i believe we were still in a lockdown when we got welly um maybe we weren't i can't remember but anyway we didn't do puppy training classes more because leighton works every other saturday sunday mornings leighton like sometimes goes to football we didn't really have the time and my friend emma's had two cockapoos and they were like the best dogs ever so I kind of just like took some advice from her she did puppy training and Welly's not half bad at all so like he picked up sit lay down paw roll over those things super quick he's got a few bad things he doesn't he's not bad around food or anything like that um he does jump up and we've started to like stop that now um, just because my mum's mentioned a few things about like if Welly was around my nan and granddad we're going to Cornwall with them in October and if like Welly was to jump up at one of them or like cut them with his claws it's just quite much for like older people so we wanted to stop him jumping up and children as well we're like through the process of that at the minute he's so so much better at it um, so that's one thing he's not the best at a second thing was recall He's either really good or really bad, and that's not very good because it's like unpredictable. The last few weeks he's been spot on. He's, you say, well he come, and he comes back straight away. However, it was this was about a month ago. Me and Leighton were going to take Welly for a walk, and um, Leighton says, oh, normally I just open the front door and he jumps straight in the car because we were going out in the car. And Leighton opened the front door and Welly didn't have his lead on and he just bombed it down the road and we were like calling like Welly come, Welly come, he was ignoring us. So Leighton started to go after him. Obviously when you chase a dog they go faster and he nearly got to the main road and obviously that could have gone ten times worse than it did. Leighton got Welly and he was fine but that kind of like threw me off a bit and made me feel a bit uncomfortable. If I walk Welly on my own I don't like to let him off the lead if I'm with Leighton or my mum, we do let him off the lead and his recall is fine. I don't know if he was maybe going through like them teenage years. However, I heard they're like about now, eight months, but he seems to be pretty good at the minute. Fingers crossed, touch wood, it will continue. His recall isn't actually that bad now. So he's pretty much not a bad dog. He's just very hyper. He's got a lot of energy. Obviously, cock um, cockapoos or poodles and cocker spaniels are working dogs, so... He's gonna have a lot of energy and we knew that when we got the breed, but he does also chill a lot as well, which is nice. He does like cuddles, as you saw at the beginning, he loves his mum. One thing that was, is really sad is that his, he had like half a white nose and it has grown out. My friend said it would, and I was like, it won't. And it has, it's grown out, it's gone. He's just got a brown face now. I do love his colour. He We've started to find like white in his tail and stuff and he's gonna fade, I know he is. In regards to leaving him on his own, he does have, I would say he has got a bit of separation anxiety. It is getting better, but he does have a bit. We'll leave him for maybe four or five hours maximum on his own. Um, that's maybe if we go out in the evenings on like a weekend. But he doesn't go in his crate anymore. We did for probably about three months and now we just leave him out. All the doors upstairs are shut and he just has like the lounge, the kitchen and the hallway. He's obviously got his food, his water, his crate's open. And we just shut the blinds because otherwise he just constantly looks out and barks at cars and stuff. Um, but when we leave, we never hear him. And when we come back, nothing's destroyed. And that's another thing. He's never been, touch wood still, a chewer of like furniture. We obviously had new sofa, new furniture in this house. And he's never been a big chewer of those things. He did used to like bite us as a puppy a lot. But that stopped. He rarely, but like he still nibbles, but it's more like playing. But he's yeah, so he doesn't chew us, chew furniture, nothing. He loves his toys. He's got this one pig. He's had about ten of them from the range. It was in one of my vlogs, and he was petrified when I first got it for him, and now he loves it. It's so cute. 
Um, so he just has his toys and he doesn't chew our stuff. So that is a Brucey bonus. What else can I talk about? He had his first proper cut last month. So he was about seven and a half months or seven months. And he needed it because it was so hot. His hair was so long. So he had his first proper cut and he looked like such a cute little like handsome boy. It was adorable. Um, so yeah, and another great thing about Welly is he just loves everybody so much. He loves people, maybe a bit too much. He is just like a very sociable dog. And I think that's really nice because my old dog, she was a rescue and I would love to rescue in the future. Our second dog will 100% be a rescue dog. I just think there's so many dogs out there that need rescuing. We will definitely rescue. Um, so yeah, our old dog, Sammy, she was a rescue and she um, hated people. Like she didn't trust anybody except from us. And it was really sad. So it's nice that we've brought Welly up to love people. Um, and dogs, he's not very, he's not bad with dogs at all. He's good with them. He does this really weird thing though. Like we'll be going on a walk and he'll see a dog and he just lays down until the dog literally gets up to him and then he'll jump up and like run at them. I don't know what that's about. Um, but we just like to go early on walks so it's quiet. We can let him off, we don't have any worries. Not even about our dog, but other people's dogs because I've had a few encounters. I was out with my mum the other day and she was walking her boyfriend's dog, Ozzy. He's a Doberman, he's stunning, he's massive. He's probably about 10 times the size of Welly. Um, and he, they play really well together as well. And there was this dog, Ozzy was off the lead and Welly was on the lead. And there was this dog, it looked like a Staffy, but crossed with something else. It was white, it had like pointy ears and it was smaller than a Staffy, but it looked evil. Like when I tell you this dog looked evil, it looked evil. And it like, mum said it had its balls and it can often make them a bit more like, riled up, I don't know, a bit more aggressive. It came over to Welly and like you could tell Welly was uncomfortable and he was on the lead. So like Welly walked away and then this dog literally just stood there, it was like this staring at Welly and I was like mum mum stop like I don't like it and my mum was like had to get Ozzy back on the lead because my mum said Ozzy would have like gone nuts um and we like were shouting for this dog's owner and it was nowhere to be seen this dog honestly looked aggressive and then the owner is on a jog he just runs past about two minutes later we're screaming for the owner he doesn't apologize he just goes come on to his dog as if that's okay like, he might know his dog's fine, but we felt very threatened by it. And he, they're the kind of dog owners I don't like and I don't want to be. So, like, when me and Leighton are out, I'm very cautious about what other people are thinking. Like, do you know what I mean? So, like, that's why I get sometimes get worried about Welly coming off the lead. Because I think if your dog's not 100%, then it shouldn't be off the lead. And Welly can't, can sometimes not be 100% now we just he's part of our family like i couldn't imagine life without him now like when you come home from work and you just cuddle with your dog and go to for like lovely walks on the weekend and go for like a pub lunch it just like makes you like a family and we're gonna go to Durdle door next weekend on sunday go early and like take welly for a walk there and we've got Cornwall book next month and we're taking for loads of like beach walks it just really makes you like spend more time together but it has taken obviously six, no, about five months to get to that point because it is hard work. And like my advice to like everybody, I don't even know. I don't know what my advice would be. Is that everyone, well, not everyone. My mum told me it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And I just didn't believe it. Like I was just like, oh, mum, like shut up. It's our choice if we want to get a dog. And it is really, really hard work. Like it's constant. Like you can't. I can't remember, like, before a dog, we would just sit on the sofa and chill, and we didn't have... He's all right now, but he was... He just used to be... It's constant, it's never ending, it's go, you let him out. He wants something else, he's jumping up at you, wants to play. It's just never ending. He is getting better, and he is... We love him, but it is hard. That is kind of the puppy update. If there's anything else that you guys want to know, or are interested in just let me know and i can like reply to you guys or i'll make a new video um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this puppy update and i will see you guys next week for a new video bye guys